but these times have passed and today we render using GPU and it renders a whole lot faster. Hey, what's up? Gleb Alexander here for CreativeShrimp.com, the place where artists learn tips and tricks about computer graphics, art and coffee brewing. And welcome to this new episode of the Ask Gleb podcast. In this podcast, I'll be answering just one question. And this question is, what computer do you have? Thank you guys so much. You keep asking this question and I understand why it's so important for you. This question is going to be very important for anyone who wants to render using a computer. So keep watching. All right, so here is my configuration in brief. I have Intel Core i7-4770, GTX 780, that's my video card, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, solid state drive uh, for a system drive, and that's pretty much it. And uh, let's talk a bit why I have what I have. Once upon a time, rendering was done on CPU. If I had to choose what kind of computer should I buy, uh, five years ago, I would pick uh, the top CPU because back then I was rendering using V-Ray and V-Ray, this offline render engine of 3ds Max and other software, used CPU for calculations. But these times have passed and today we render using GPU uh, because a uh, Blender render engine called Cycles, obviously it uses GPU and it renders a whole lot faster on GPU. So today I'd recommend you to spend your money on getting a decent GPU in the first place because that's what makes or breaks render speed in cycles. As I've said, I have GTX 780 and it's a bit old. I'm looking forward to getting a newer GPU by NVIDIA called 1080. I'm drooling over it. It's insane how cool it seems to be. I will certainly get it. And before you actually ask, yeah, I know that GTX TUI drivers for Windows 10 are broken. It sucks, and I hope this kind of problem won't happen to 1080. When you pick NVIDIA GPU, it's very important to pay attention how many CUDA cores it has. Because Cycles uses CUDA to render. And obviously, the more CUDA cores have video card, the faster will be rendering. The second crucial parameter is the amount of memory on the video card. It's called GDDR, it's kind of a video memory, and uh, before Cycles renders the scene, it fits all the textures and all the geometry into the memory of the video card to render it out. When you have not enough memory, uh, the rendering fails. Of course, you can get around it by splitting your scene into layers and all this stuff, but you will feel much more comfortable if you just have a video card with sufficient amount of RAM the bigger the better. For example, 1080 video card will have 8 GB of RAM and that should be enough for any kind of scenarios. And uh, my video card 780 has just 3 GB of uh, video memory. That is pretty much enough too for me. To sum it up, pay attention to CUDA cores and to video memory on your GPU and choose the video card according to that parameter. What else? As I said, you probably need at least 16 GB of RAM to back up this system. And also, I'd like to strongly encourage you to buy a solid-state drive and use it as a system drive. It's very important to have a fast storage. It will make everything work faster. It will make your operating system, no matter what you use, Windows or Linux, work as fast as it can, because uh, the performance of the hard drive can be a bottleneck of the overall performance of a computer. So let's recap it. And I'd recommend you to watch this video by James Kenny, because James made an amazing video about computers and rendering and photo scans and all this stuff. This was Gleb Alexandrov. Take care, drink more coffee. Thanks so much for watching.